Hi guys, Dr. John back with a dose of the Jethro Tolls today. This is 1969 and living in the past. Let's bring it up and see what we think. Okay, so really catchy song there by Jethro Tull. Came out in 1969. It was a standalone single. At that time, the big bands used to put out the sing singles individually and not have them on albums because the record companies thought that the public would think they were being cheated if they got the the songs they'd already bought as singles on albums. How things have changed. So this song is written in a really strange time signature 5-4 and you can tell from the beginning really as soon as the bass comes in uh, yeah it was very popular at the time and remains one of Jethro Tull's most famous songs I, I would think reached number three in the UK and a couple of years later number 10 perhaps in the in the US uh, it appeared in a couple of years uh, 
after it first came out in the UK on a compilation album called Living in the Past and that's when it had success in the US. Um, yeah, it's it's it seems to be a kind of uh, nostalgic song asking for the asking for the um, day, days of yore, the old days to to come back. Maybe this feeds into the the, the Jethro Tull kind of image because Jethro Tull originally was an English agriculturalist uh, of the 18th century. So it's a bit strange taking your name from an 18th century English agriculturalist. There's that element of looking back to the old days, the rural days, the, the days of the countryside before the big the, the big cities changed everything. So maybe it's feed, feeding into that aspect of Jethro Tull, the uh, the longing for the for the old rural days of of England and Britain. Great flute play, playing by Ian Anderson on this and the unusual time signature and beat uh, makes you sit up and take notice of the song immediately. It's very jaunty, very upbeat, has a good vibe. Um, yeah, uh, and on any Jethro Tull compilation, this would be this would be one of the first songs there for sure. Um, yeah, it's one of my favourites of the band, I would think. And uh, although the video was in black and white, it, it it portrays what the band was like very well. Their kind of quirky eccentricity, and uh, uh, Ian Anderson is his usual bullient self. I think the other members of the the band were a bit interchangeable. Maybe at the beginning. Uh, the other members of the band were more important, especially in the early blues days. The first album was all blues, and uh, even the early folk, rocky, prog rock days. But as time went on, Ian Anderson literally became one man band, really, with the other members of Jethro Tull being uh, easily changed around. So, yeah, this is definitely one of the better known better quality songs, I do believe, so hope you enjoyed it and uh, enjoyed my reaction, so thanks a lot and see you next time. Thanks a lot.